Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I got the craving for chili chicken. I make sure I get it every time when I go to the Indian restaurant. Now you probably know what I'm making today. Yes, it's chili chicken. Let's do the chicken dance. Chicken, 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 Yay! So let's get into the preparation, guys. First, let's marinate our chicken. I took two LBs of chicken, which is 900 grams, and I wash the chicken with turmeric powder because it will take away all of the bacteria from the chicken, which is antibiotic. First, you need to add a half spoon of ginger garlic paste because we don't want too much of the ginger garlic paste flavor in our chili chicken. Then let's add one spoon of chili powder. Then add a tablespoon of soy sauce. Then add a quarter spoon of pepper powder. Add salt to taste. Then add egg. Then let's mix it. It's gooey, really gooey because of the egg. And it is watery. The chili chicken is gonna turn out good because of the spice. Then add two tablespoons of cornstarch because it will give you a crispiness when you're frying it. And add a two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. We're going to add some more cornstarch and flour if it's required. Let's mix it. It's turning white now. But some red is still here. And a very little bit of black is in the chicken. And it's more gooey now because of the cornstarch. It looks like the two tablespoons did the job. Let's put the chicken in the refrigerator for an hour. Meanwhile, let's prepare the sauce. First, you need to add two tablespoons of vinegar, then three tablespoons of soy sauce. Add it carefully. Then add one tablespoon of chili powder. You could add more if you want, but I'm just telling it's, if you want medium spice level, just add one tablespoon. Then add a half spoon of sugar. Then also add half spoon of salt. Then add two tablespoons of ketchup. You could add more if you want. Fill.
The ketchup kind of looks like barbecue sauce because it's dark. Let's whisk all of our ingredients together. You can add two, two, three tablespoons of water while you're mixing. Our sauce is ready! By any chance, if you don't have vinegar at home, you could substitute it with let, lemon juice or lime juice. Let's look into the rest of our ingredients for the chili chicken. I sliced a medium bell pepper into medium slices and I took a, took a half of a large onion and cut it. If you have a medium onion, you could cut the whole onion. And I took chili peppers and cut them into two pieces and diced garlic. Put the frying pan and turn on the stove and add oil. You could add canola oil or vegetable oil to deep fry our chicken, but never use olive oil. It's not it's not healthy to deep fry things. Wait until the oil gets heated. Make sure you put the stove on medium high so our chicken will be done well. Our oil is ready to fry. Let's add our chicken. Ooh, our chicken is looking good already. When it's fried on one side, turn the chicken to the other side. When the chicken turns golden brown like this, Drying the oil in the other container. See, I'm drying the oil. After drying, put the chicken on the tissue paper so our chicken won't be too oily. Let me taste the small piece. You know, if it's chicken, I can't wait of eating it. Kind of taste like chicken. Oh, a uh hot, -huh, a uh hot. -huh. Mmm, it's crispy and tasty. It tastes like chicken nuggets, but of course, it doesn't have breadcrumbs. Ah, oh, it's time to turn on fried chicken to chili chicken! Yeah. Okay, let's turn on the stove and add three to four tablespoons of oil. After our oil gets heated, add some diced garlic and chilies. Add it carefully because it might heat up too much. Now let's mix it. Fry it until the garlic looks very light golden brown. Don't worry, I'll show you how it looks. The garlic should look like this. We'll add onions and bell pepper, which is also known as capsicum. Now let's fry it for some time. I'll show you how it looks. Then you could add your sauce, which we prepared way before. The smell of the garlic is too good. I love it. Do you guys love garlic? Then you enjoy making chili chicken. This is how it should look. The capsicum shouldn't be too soft or too crispy. Should be in the medium range, so it will taste good with our chicken. Now let's add the sauce. Allow the sauce to boil, then we can add our chicken. Let's add the chicken. Don't add one by one, add all of them at the same time. Mix it well. Isn't it looking colorful and yummy? 
See? Isn't it looking yummy and pretty? Let me taste it. Today we're eating it outside because our weather is good. Let me get some of the capsicum. Yeah. Tastes so good. Now I'll never miss getting chili chicken in the restaurant. Because it tastes exactly like the restaurant chili chicken. Guys, make sure you try this recipe at home because it's literally so good. If you guys are new to this channel, like, share, and subscribe. And click the bell icon to get notified. Bye! Have a good day.